was Fourth of July weekend. My pager went off, called the station, made a phone call, and found out that Lakeville police wanted my assistance, and I drove up to the scene. I met with a female who had apparently had gone into the woods to make a rest stop and came across the skeletal remains of a female. Saturday, July 30th. The remains of a body were found in a wooded area off Route 195 in Dartmouth. The second victim that we've identified is a woman named Nancy Piper. As soon as the second body was found, right away, I said, I think we have a serial killer on our hands. No arrests have been made. The families of victims had suffered most. She was one that always wanted to do good for herself. She really was a good, caring person. I was always hoping that she was alive somewhere. All those bodies started popping up on the highway, and my Uncle Wayne thought to himself, that sounds like Debbie. Well, we're on a normal litter patrol, and one of the workers come and got me, and, you know, it was a human skull. Six specially trained police dogs will be searching selected secondary roads and highways throughout the area. The DA says police are now looking at a number of possible suspects who are known to frequent or travel through the Wells Square area. A new complaint is issued against Neil Anderson for assault with intent to commit rape. Tony DeGrazio became a suspect because of what he was known to do with the girls on the street. Former New Bedford attorney Ken Pont appeared in New Bedford Superior Court charged with beating and killing Rochelle Clifford de Pirla. I demand that your harassment of me be stopped immediately. Do I agree with the way Pina handled the case? No, I don't. There's a nightmare now of wondering who killed her. Now it's 27 years we're at. My grandmother went to her grave without ever knowing what happened to her daughter.